or Hennepin Sports 84. Chris Eubank Jr. is aiming to knock out Arthur Abraham. And after, go after Groves and James DeGill. Who are his um, compatriots? They are from the same country, actually. So, looks like a, a local, a local matchup. Chris Eubank Jr.'s career has uh, has has been weird and awkward in a sense. I was under the impression Chris Eubank Jr. was going to dethrone Gennady Golovkin in the middleweight division. For some reason, the fight didn't come to pass. And before we knew it, Chris Eubank Jr. has jumped, has left the middleweight division and gone to super middleweight. His uh, rematch with um, Billy Joe Sanders never came to fruition. He had a lot of unfinished business in the middleweight division and decided to jump up. For what reason, I have no idea. So he's now in the super middleweight division and he wrestled the IBO title from an unknown fighter. And now he's going after Arthur Abraham, who was a former champion. So he really needs a statement against Arthur because his last fight it wasn't that impressive even though he stopped the guy he couldn't get a knockout he didn't look he didn't look that impressive in that fight because super junior is one of my favorite fighters and i really want him to succeed but his decision making doesn't doesn't really it's not really adding up the way they are, his father is telling his career i don't really know what, what he aimed to achieve he keep bouncing up different weight classes i don't really know what you are going after you have a lot of unfinished business in the middleweight division, but he decided to just move on up to a different division. For for what reason? Is it that he can't he can't make middleweight anymore or what? He doesn't look like somebody who couldn't make middleweight anymore. Because he, he mentioned that he was willing to come back for Golovkin one in some interview some time back. So we see how he <laughs> you see I really think Kizuma Jun has a lot of skills. He's a very very good boxer. A very, very good boxer. I'm not, I'm not really sure how solid his chin is, but his skills is, is top, is top notch. So we see how he fares against Arthur Abraham. He really needs a good performance in that fight because Arthur, Arthur Abraham is really is a really respected boxer and people think highly of him. So he's able to knock this guy out cold or put on a some sort of exceptional display. He's he's definitely going to make a statement with that, and hopefully if he wins that he's going to enter. A, uh, how do you call it? An eight-man knockout tournament, which features Groove and Colum Smith. I think Colum Smith recently scored another vicious victory, and he's highly regarded, and he's an unbeaten fighter as well. Groves, I think he's a champion now, but he's he's lost. He's not an unbeaten fighter, so he lost to I think who was it? A Froch, Carl Froch. Yeah, I think he lost to him twice. So that is who Chris Bang is aiming at, and James DeGale as well, who is the I think the IBF IBF title holder, and Gross is WBA WBA title holder. Oh really? Oh, okay. So he's look he's aiming at both both fighters. So hopefully he can get a job done this week and get into the tournament and get a shot at Gross. Gross might not even make it make it to the finals because I think the Colin Smith guy is really underrated. That guy looks like a very a very solid fighter himself. So Gross might not even make it to the finals if he if he gets to beat with this Colin Smith guy. Because I think this Colin Smith guy is is, is no joke. So Chris Bank has his work cut out. You see how things pan out. I'm I'm, I'm hoping for the best for him. Those are my thoughts on Chris Bank Jr.'s um, ambitions in the Super Middleweight Division. If you like the commentary, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and make commentaries like this every other day. Thank you for your time. Catch you in the next one. Bye for now.